People talk about knowing the world, but do not know themselves. Not only know, but also do not want to know. Knowing itself is the biggest naim of the world. Who does not know himself, how will he know others? To know others, it is necessary to know yourself first. That's why big noblemen have not been wrong in saying that you should start by knowing yourself. Somebody knocked on the door of a Mahatma. Mahatma asked who. The respondent has given his name. Mahatma asked again why did you come? Get answers, I've come to know myself. The Mahatma said, you are wise, you do not need knowledge. This happened to many people. In the minds of the people, he started spreading anger against the Mahatma. Once a person knocked on the door of Mahatma, Mahatma asked who? Answer, I have come to know who I am. The Mahatma said, come on, you are the ignorant person who needs knowledge. The rest were all wise. It starts like this, the journey of life. It is very important to know yourself. Who does not know himself cannot claim to know anyone. People fight and say, you do not know what I can do. In front of this the front also says the same. In reality they both do not know themselves. That's why it says so. You have ever tried to know that there is no difference between God and yourself. Who knew himself, he knew God. It is said in the Puranas that God is within us only. There is no need to find him. The question arises that how to go to yourself. The question is difficult but not as hard as we think. There will be many moments in life when we have found ourselves surrounded by troubles. In these moments, the solution does not seem to be far away. This is the moment to identify yourself. There is an hour of test for every moment of human being. The troubles come only to identify the forces within man. Remember those moments of trouble, you will find how you faced him. One moment was getting heavier but you have overcome him. Today, remembering those moments, you may be able to remember. But at that time you were a skilled warrior, who won the war with his mind. In fact, troubles are like a lion, whose solution hangs in its tail. But we become so horrified by the lion's roar that our attention is not solved. But slowly when we think that if we are alive then there is some reason behind it, if the lion left us alive, then surely there is no other purpose in our life. If we calmly try to understand those situations at that time, we will find that we have competed with those moments of courage. This is what we get from self-realization and begins to know ourselves. We remember the courage of those moments, what kind of sensitivity we had introduced even today. If the troubles have come to us, then know that they have come to prepare us for any exam. We have to get involved in that exam. That is, we have to move ahead by recognizing our own power. Life goes on like this. Always remember that those who have got more marks in the exams, they have to be ready for the examinations. What failed exams and exams for those who failed? Remember that the end of hard work is not just a success, but after success, one has to be ready for hard work.